Well, I guess I better turn this off. Hi right, guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, as you can see there, I'm getting nearly 600 RPM out of this engine. Um, I hope you're all well. I'm not. I've got tested positive for COVID probably about four days ago. Got a terrible sore throat, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I've had a bit of fun today. Now... If you've been following uh, this boat build that I've been trying to do with this engine, I've been going absolutely nowhere. Um, the first time I started this engine up, it seemed okay. Um, uh, I pull it in the boat and the ignition failed. I had no spark. Also, all the electronics, it's, it's ruined one of my servos. It's ruined the receiver. It completely wipes them out and... You know, people saying and put um, silver paper around it and all that. I tried all that and uh, it, it didn't work. And, but, you know, anyway, um, Sterling Kit sent me a new uh, ignition unit. And guess what? I had it running on the bench. I put it in the boat. And guess what happened? No spark. So, there's one. And there's two. And there's a silly plug cap. Now these things, they are very, very poor quality. Uh, I mean, they just, this engine would barely run, right? It would barely run on this. It was just so bad. And it's also, and it comes out of the sensor here. My other one had like a thick wire there to protect it, but it hasn't. And it rests on a very sharp kind of, edge of it that could cut through the wire but you know these things are just not worth you know like i said on sterling kit facebook page i'm not even going to ask for another one it's it's pointless because you do it all and the engine runs sick as a dog it doesn't run right the plug doesn't run hot enough um it it's just it's just a waste of time absolutely waste of time buying out there i suggest any of you who have bought an engine with this ignition to throw it away and do what I've done, which I'll explain now. Okay. As you can see there, I've got this engine now doing 600 RPM and ticking over almost 116. It starts easy, it's reliable, it don't leak oil, it actually don't chuck out so much oil out the exhaust, it's, it runs really clean. And what I've done is I bought one of these CDI units, RC, I don't know, XL units, um, off Just Engines. And a big shout out to uh, Just Engines because they got me this within a day. Um, a fantastic bit of kit, you know. All fully suppressed. There won't be any problem with the radio. A nice plug cap. All suppressed, there's a little condenser or capacitor in there, so it's all, you know, it, it, it's bulletproof set up. Um, I put a rev count on there just to show you that, you know, before I was lucky to get like 2,500 RPM with the standard unit. Um, just, just was all wrong, absolutely totally wrong. Now, as you can see, I've got my marks on here. They suggest, where are we? I've only put them on with um, Sharpie. They suggest uh, before top dead centre, sort of 28 to 30 degrees, something like that. Now, when you look at the standard setup, it was firing almost like just gone 
top dead centre. You know, and you couldn't adjust it. You couldn't do anything with it. Um, it's just, uh, it's just wrong. Uh, I don't know why Tyne, not Tyne, but Sterling Kit, they import these engines from Eugene or whatever. And the engine itself is quite good. But to put on these cheap CDI units is like, uh, it just ruins the engine. And people must have had the same trouble as me. You know, I've got to fill up with people keep saying, oh, you must be doing something wrong. You must be doing something wrong. Well, I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm just putting this bloody thing in my boat. And straight away, I've got no spark. So, I've, like I said, I've actually given up with them and I've gone down a tried and trusted route with just engines and got myself a proper CDI unit with no messing about. Now, what I did was put this... I've got mine probably about 24 degrees uh, before top dead centre. Um, uh, the magnet was in here, but I've not bothered with that. What I've done is I've made I made like a nylon half ring, which I've actually screwed onto where the pull start goes here. So it bolts on round there, and I made this adjustable so you can move it. At, you know, you can put the magnet or the sensor, the whole sensor, nearer the magnet or away. And what I did to put this on top dead centre, I put the uh, made sure it was on top dead centre with that, and then. I marked out 23, 24 degrees, something like that. Bearing in mind, I've also got adjustment on that. And I drilled a hole for this, 3.9, uh, and just then you supply me with a magnet, so you, you um, just squeeze the magnet in. Don't bash it with a hammer because it'll shut up, but you can just squeeze it in. It's not gone as flat as I like, but it's not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so what I've got here is I ordered with the sensor, they do lots of different types of mounting, and I had sort of some idea what I was going to do off the front. So that's mounted to that, and that can move back and forwards. And also, these have got slots in, so this is screwed into that plastic. So just around there, it's got a couple of screws in there, so you can undo them screws and you can move them around um, to get the right timing. Now, I can say so I can probably get this over six hundred RPM uh, just by tweaking the timing and the mixture, but I don't think it's safe to do that. I think you know where well, I can feel it vibrating. I mean, it won't do that in a boat, but it'd just be nice now that I've got it actually firing spot on. Um, I can lean the mixture out. Uh, it, it you know before you wishing it up and it stopped, so you try to lean it out, and then it would like. It weren't enough fuel, and oh, you go round in circles. Hours and hours and hours I spent with them other boxes. But today, I just got this set up. Um, I put the uh, floral in my lathe, and I drilled it where I thought it should go. I mean, <laughs> I made up a little uh, curl template of like 24 degrees. But the good thing with this, you can adjust this. You know, you can move this around till you get your engine running. I just got it started, and straight away, it sounded like really nice. And Tico's more consistent. Again, it's burning properly. It's not chucking oil out the exhaust. As before, it was just spraying everything with like oil out the exhaust. Um, so now it's actually burning the fuel properly. It's firing properly. It's going to be a much more efficient engine. And I could even put uh, the right, well, not the right, but sort of half the amount of oil in here without it all coming out of the exhaust. It's actually burning it off. And uh, it's it, like you heard there, it's running absolutely fine. So... This is uh, the Sterling, I think it's for their, their single cylinder. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's expensive. It was £52, I think. And to stop all the aggro of putting the boat, you know, the engine in the boat, taking it out again, I think it's worth every penny. No silly wrapping up with silver paper or anything like that. It's just a plug in and play. All you have to do is take this fly reel off, mark out where the top dead centre is, 24 degrees before top dead centre, drill, put your magnet in, and just make... You could put the sensor coming off the back, you could put the sensor off of here. Do not pull it in the bottom there, because, you know, I did that and it wouldn't run. So I should imagine the other unit I've got would run now if I had it on this setup. Um, you've got to be able to adjust that time. And if you look at all aircraft engines... 
um, that run this setup, they've all got some degree of adjustable timing. Uh, and that's what you need. Like I say, I started it up, uh, it sounded much better. Then I just started tweaking it until I got the revs to kind of, I thought, as much as it can go uh, without, like, destroying it. Um, and I'm quite happy with that. And the thing is now as well, you have to give it a fair good few flicks and choke it before it'll start. Whereas before, it was, like, always flooded with fuel and it would only start on tick over. You know, now you have to open it a flat out, a couple of pulls, it starts up, and you can put the tick over down and away you go. So hopefully now I can get on and get this uh, set up in the boat. I'm still feeling really rough. Uh, my throat feels like I've been drinking ba battery acid. Every bone in my body is aching. Um, I've actually got a stick at the moment so I can get up and down into the, my um, living room from the garage and you know, through the patio door because I, my muscles just seem to have decided they're not going to work on my legs anymore. So uh, I'm hoping that soon I can you know, get back on the road to recovery, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, get over this bloody COVID, because I'm telling you guys, it's not nice. So anyway, there we are, I'm running this, I think you can run this, I'm running it on a six volt, a uh, little metal hard drive pack, you can run it, I believe, yeah, DC, uh, you can run it from six volt, or 8 volt up to 14.4 volt. So a little lipo in there, which probably I'm going to put in there, will be really nice. Uh, remember, guys, you've got to use separate batteries to supply uh, uh, ignition. Don't use one battery to do the ignition and your radio. But like I say, it's actually ruined. When I had it running, I had a Spectrum uh, receiver in it, and it actually it messed that up, and that didn't work no more. I also had a, a receiver in the boat, uh, on the rudder, uh, it's killed that, it's spun it right round and uh, it stripped all that and that was kind of glued in the boat so I had to sort of get all that out, break that out and I thought I'm not putting this engine back in there again until I get it running how I want it, like 100%. Um, the, the little uh, little pull start works really well, you know, it's free as you like. Uh, it's such a simple thing to do. Everything on that engine is simple to make it 100%. Because as it is, coming out of the factory, with the, you know these little units on, it's not. Everyone who's got one of them units is going to have problems. Um, you know, Maybe you guys just start it up and for a few seconds on a bit of wood that it comes with. And, oh, that's okay. But if you want to put it in a model and you want to run it in something, you cannot use one of these because it will fail. Uh, you know, like I said, it's not worth sending me another one because it's just a pointless exercise. So they just fit for the bin. Um, this is the way to go. If you want a reliable engine, uh, a powerful engine, a lot more revs, this is the way you've got to go. So anyway, guys, I'm going to sign out now. Uh, I think I'm going to have an early night. And uh, hopefully in the next one, this will be in the boat. See you later, guys.